Salutations and welcome to Ross Range. Today's video I know how much you guys love to watch me do some sanding, uh, so here's a little more for your mental stability. Glad I could help. get all that old paint that was on there somebody painted it and uh, get the rust off here and then we'll blue it Now that we've gotten the pieces we need to blue all cleaned off, all the rust, all of the paint, we're going to blue the barrel and the pieces that uh, are on the outside of the gun, they're going to need to be blued or re-blued. Uh, so what we've got is we've got our Brownells Oxfo Blue, a SOS pad. What we're going to do is hot soapy water, we're going to clean off these pieces make sure there's no uh, dirt or dust from our sanding etc then we got our quadruple lot steel wool for burnishing once we put the bluing on uh, cotton swabs cotton balls for putting the oxfo blue on rubber gloves don't forget to wear your gloves and acetone so we're going to start with hot soapy water on the pieces that are going to be blued and dry them off and then we'll get right to work bluing. Alright, we'll start with the small pieces, get them cleaned off. Really this is the only part that's going to get blued here, so we'll clean that off. When we get these all done, we'll use a hair dryer on to make sure we get all of the water out, dried off and warmed up. Just making sure we get all of the dirt particles and oils. We'll also use acetone to uh, make sure we have no oils on there before we blew it. Alright, next we're going to um, wipe everything down with acetone, make sure we don't have any oils on there, and then get to the bluing. Alright, so we've done hot soapy water, uh, dried everything off with a towel, but now we could either let it air dry and make sure there's no water anywhere on any of this stuff, uh, hot water help to uh, evaporate any water on there but instead of letting it dry for hours we're going to use a hair dryer 
heat up all the pieces and cause any remaining water trapped anywhere in the crevices to dry out. Toasty. All right, that'll do it. Now we're going to wipe it off with acetone, make sure we don't have any oils, and then we'll get right to the bluing. Make sure we do a really good job getting the oils off of this here so that bluing holds. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. And then we just apply as many coats as we want to make it as dark as we want. So, of course, we will start with the barrel. Do that. Clean Tupperware. Start this end here. Burnish with our steel wool. Alright, so there's some areas that need some more, so we're gonna. I don't know if these cotton swabs really, cotton balls are really that great. I feel like a nice clean piece of cloth here might work better. That didn't look good. Oh, that's from the uh, thing there. All right. Give it some more. Starting to look better. helps kind of looks to me like it helps smooth out some of the uh, bluing take off any excess we can make sure we get the end of this barrel here pretty good this time and you want to make sure that you're using double lot or better steel wool when you're doing this because you really don't want to scratch the new finish you're putting on there. I use quadruple 4 aught. Get this good. That's looking a lot better now. Much better. A lot easier than using the cotton swabs as far as I'm concerned. That looks pretty good. I think we'll leave that. applying light pressure all we're really trying to do is give it a little rub just give it a little rub and tug maybe just a little more on the end of the barrel and a little more around the receiver here There's a couple of spots that could use a little extra help looks pretty good though
wonder where that name comes from. What is the etymology of burnishing? Google is your friend. Look it up. Barrel looks good. Yeah, barrel looks real nice. Reassembly next.